hey everyone and welcome back to another video and in this video i'm going to show you how to make custom category and search result pages using the db theme builder so this is how it looks by default so you can style them in your own way in the db theme builder so let's get started with our video From your WordPress dashboard, go to DV Theme Builder, then click on Add New Template, and then here, if you scroll down to this place, Archive Pages, you can style your all archive pages, all author pages, all category pages, all date pages, and many more options are here. And you can choose what to do here. You can have them for the specific poll of specific category author or tags so we'll go with the all archive pages and we will come to search results after this so let's choose all archive pages and then click on create template and then here we have to add a custom body and then click on build custom body now click on build from scratch and then now we can start building our all archive pages so let's add uh, one column row here and then add module as text and then here let's remove all the content from here and then use dynamic content as post slash archive title so it will display the archive title that the user has requested for so let's go into the design and make it larger like that and let's center align it and change the font like that and then let's go into section and add a background color here maybe this one or let's go with this one and then change the text color to white it will appear nicely so now let's add a new section and then add module as blog and now it's displaying post but we have to enable this post for current page and then go to design and then choose the layout I'll go with the grid because it will appear correctly on the screen and then you can choose what to show in the elements you can show a read more button as you can see you can show comments count and you can choose what to do here you can disable this excerpt as well but we'll go with that let's go into the design option and then we have the overlay option as well if you like you can enable it as well it will appear like that when you hover over the blog module or any of your blog card it will appear this uh, overlay so we'll enable it then we can style our title text a little bit big we can change the font you can do many things here Let's change the font of body like this one, make it semi bold and then that's it. You can have lots of customizations here but we'll simply make it a little good like that. So now let's click on save and our all archive pages is ready. Let's close it from here and then click on save changes. As you can see the changes are saved. If we go to our archive page and refresh the page. As you can see this is how it's now looking. I got the author username here and the articles written by this author so 
this is how the team builder works and it's so easy so we are done with our category pages let's go with the search results pages let's click on add new template and then choose search results pages or search results and then click on create template and if you want to copy this same style from here you can do that easily so let me first do any search here if you see this is how our search results pages are looking right now and if i click on save changes i just copied this thing from here to here but you can style your own search results pages but we have to go into this design option and we can make a little bit change here let's go into the settings let's go into this one setting again and then add before text as search for so let's click on save changes and then click on save changes and then we can save our work if you click on save button so let's go on our search result page this is our search result page and if i refresh this page as you can see this is how it's looking but i think we don't have to add this text there we can simply remove that if you like like that it's so easy so let's refresh this page as you can see now it's showing results for post as we have searched for post it display all the articles that has this post title so i think you have understand how it works and well, thanks for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video for more team builder video series and i'll meet you in my next one peace out